Hey guys, Carlos here from Angler's Lifestyle. Here at Quarry Lakes uh, fishing this morning for these newly planted trout. Um, Quarry has received uh, 750 pounds already from a couple weeks, that's uh, early October. And there was one also which is essentially the leftover of the uh, kids' uh, fishing, uh, disability fishing event. Now, first of all, let me show you my intro to that day that I recorded. But uh, I will show you when I uh, catch my own fish. And that's the perks of uh, actually volunteering is after the event is done, I get to bring home a couple of fish, trout for myself. Um, so anyway, we're gonna be using these uh, Zebco, uh, I believe uh, 33 uh, reels and the rod is about a medium power. In years past, uh, we've used uh, power bait, but that took too long and it's uh, again, you know, trying to match uh, the uh, particular um, lighting conditions and the right power bait and what the uh, trout wants to eat. Okay, so we're going to be fishing in a sort of bathtub condition, but you know, sometimes th those uh, uh, trout don't want to eat either. So I've uh, resorted to using uh, my stales and I tell you, my stales is guaranteed. Okay, so the enthusiasm was so contagious, right? I was so excited and all that, but let me show you the ending of that recording. Anyway, to make the long story short, <laughs> I got skunk. At least I'm here, was able to uh, help fish with some of the kids. It was just a joy watching them smile and pull up that fish. So I guess it was a good thing that I got skunked that day. I mean, I couldn't believe it. Fishing in the netted area and still got skunk, that's crazy. Uh, two thirds of the uh, uh, volunteers that were fishing after the event, uh, again, we didn't catch any fish at all. So for some reason, the fish just decided they don't want to eat anymore. So the, the bad thing about myself was uh, I only carried um, my stales. And in the past, you know, my stales have worked very well. But uh, for some reason, they just didn't want to eat that mice still after I've already caught five for all the kids uh, that I helped that day. Uh, so there were the, the uh, volunteers that actually caught something were using uh, power bait and it's so random. The colors did not match what I know. Okay, what my theory is with respect to sun color and color po power bait and all that. Anyway, so what did I learn with that? So today, uh, immediately I tried uh, power eggs, okay, with worm. They didn't like that. And then I started to uh, uh, cast short, and then I said, okay, this time I'm just gonna cast far. So I cast it deep. You know, I tried a different colors, a dip different combination, but the sun started to come up, and I said, this is just unreal. They must like something. We saw a couple of uh, fish come up with the lure, uh, but again, I said, they, they must take power bait. So I went ahead and switched to pure garlic, and let me show you what I did. Janet, Janet. Got it on straight garlic. Alright. I hope I land this thing. It's my first trout for the season. I'm good. Yeah. I'm on. I'm on. I'm 
my first trout for the season. Yes! Yay! <laughs> Success! <laughs> this one is far and deep. We swallow it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look what happened. My stringer. It broke off the stringer. Something. My question is, why is there a line all over this guy? Wow. That would have been a conundrum. Huh. Interesting. So there you go. Pure garlic works. Um, so I said, well, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. Again, cast it deep. I got an 18 inch leader on my uh, Okuma rocks. And again, basic Carolina rig with a sliding uh, steel uh, bullet weight. And uh, let me show you what I just did a few minutes ago and I handed the rod to Janet so she can pull up a fish. Here you go. Still on? <clears throat> All right. Good old beans. <clears throat> This is on a garlic power bait on my Okuma rocks. There it is. Oh, look, the other uh, trout's chasing it. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> that's not, oh, no, that is it. I saw another one here. <laughs> yep. Because <laughs> something else is chasing it, that's why. See it jump? That was kind of yeah. cool. Wow, he's a good swimmer. Very nice. <sighs> How did that feel? Good. Uh, yep. Ooh, I got him in the corner of his mouth. Look at that. Don't do that, you're hurting me. <coughs> Got it. Got it. <coughs> oh, really? Put it in the wrong one. Hello. We got it. <coughs> well, no. Wrong one altogether. Just can't get it right. I guess we're eating fish tonight. We're eating fish tonight. Uh, 
one tip that I would like to uh, pass on to you guys. Uh, you've seen the uh, stringer that I use. I mean, it's a cool stringer. It's got a, you know, really lengthy uh, cord on it. And, uh, you know, it has five of the um, uh, clips, you know, that actually uh, holds that fish properly. But for some reason, in my first catch, I think I caught this on video, you know, the barrel swivel of it actually broke it just broke based on uh, you know rust and again materials failure of materials so one tip for you guys is even check your stringers okay because those two anything metallic can rust out and break so we're gonna go ahead and fish for a few minutes you know we still see the uh, fish going up and down the row here but they don't want anything uh, a couple of guys uh, actually caught a few with the lure okay but again they're very finicky so again my best chance probably is to just wait for my uh, deep uh, cast uh, using garlic and go from there so stay tuned Anyway, it's late in the day, okay, and uh, we're gonna call it quits. Uh, sun is straight up, and I'm not quite sure if fish is gonna continue to bite. Maybe if you leave it deep, maybe they'll uh, go ahead and bite some more. Anyway, well, we've caught two, and that's more than enough. It's more than enough to feed a family of four, such as myself. Anyway, I hope that you guys learned from this video. As always, come fish with us sometime. See ya.